Hey all, Taves here, back playing some more Planet Zoo, and welcome back to episode 4 of my Canadian zoo project, Tigwadu Zoo. Uh, lots going on in this one, as usual, speed build section up the front, uh, real time tour at the end. Uh, loads going on, as I said, loads of custom building in this one, piece count's going a bit crazy in this episode. Uh, we are building a completely custom created cafe, restaurant kind of area. Uh, with a deck uh, all of this overlooking the rest of the zoo obviously the zoo isn't there yet but we're kind of plan <laughs> planning out that this is going to be a viewpoint uh, so as you can see I'm right on the edge of the plaza here uh, and it's transitioning down this little kind of slope section so this took some work and as you can see I'm building this out I did what I did before I built these kind of um, custom build sets uh, creating this tiled roof I had to do this, actually wasn't my original intention to create this tiled roof completely custom, but um, because of the way I laid the roof out, it just kind of meant I couldn't use the build pieces that we get in the game. Um, because you kind of need a half slate roof, like, and you don't have one, so I thought, well, we'll put a few thousand pieces into this. Uh, it ended up being about 5,000 pieces just for the roof. So the trick to do these, if you haven't done these before, uh, is use a piece of existing roof put your piece over the top of it or your pieces over the top of it and then kind of try and follow uh, the grid and use the gridded pieces as much as you can you'll find it sort of easier to do so what I've done before you know same as I've done this with the build set create my own kind of roof set uh, and then use that as I go round I start to then add this little, as you can see, there's a little step down from the plaza there. So I thought it'd be nice to add a little seating area. There's a seating area on the back, uh, but also a seating area on the front. So we add this kind of little uh, shady cover, covered bit at the front. Uh, all, again, all custom out of the beam pieces. Uh, I thought this would be quite a nice little spot to sit and, and chill. It's supposed to be that you're kind of sitting in here before you go into the zoo or after you've come out of the zoo so it's not somewhere that's actually got um it's not got vendors it's not got the real in-game stuff it's all kind of implied in there i've got a few vending machines here and there um but yeah nowhere you can actually kind of properly eat uh I, one of the changes was just the position i've got this and because i know i'm going to have trees around it and trees in a lot of places um, that I want to make sure that in these sorts of buildings I'm, I'm doing as much as I can to capture as much light as possible. So you can see, you'll see again you'll see, as ever, you'll see more of this in the, the real-time tour, but you see me put a couple of little skylights in here and I've got kind of a little, almost like a little light well box there sitting on top. Um, again, this is all mostly custom. The, that roof piece, the flat roof itself is using some gridded pieces. Uh, and I wanted this to all feel like it's a sitting area. Um, the guests don't really sit in it yet. They don't, I guess, don't really have a reason to sit in it. I think they tend to sit when they're eating. And none of my guests are using the vending machines as yet. So we shall see whether they, whether they actually do end up sitting here. But yeah, creating some little French doors, some custom doors to go out onto this little deck. Little hinges and details and all that sort of thing. Uh, this was this was the stuff that, I, if you saw the previous episode, I said that I had a bunch of footage that I had left over from that episode that was kind of too long. Um, and as is my way, I've added to that since that last episode. So uh, we will be we'll be seeing quite a lot more detail. So two or three major bits in this episode. So you saw the building going up there. Um, then there's the kind of outside of this building. Uh, this is all going to be overlooking a habitat, so there will be a, there will be a habitat coming soon. Um, probably the next episode, hopefully, if not the one after, I'm not sure. Uh, we shall see, but yeah, we're definitely due one. And obviously this would be another little spot to sort of sit and overwatch. I thought, what can I do to kind of create some interest and some features in here? So I just add in this little, like, little pond in and stuff and blending that in. Um, and there's a couple of bits and pieces that try and 
in a few places. I had this last week in the, the fountain that I had in that kind of try and echo the waterfall um, that we added in the very first episode, um, and obviously the back, that kind of back backdrop terrain of the of the dramatic rocks and the uh, and the waterfall are kind of going to be echoed throughout the park in these little water features that are little cascades of of water. So you'll see me in a second. Or maybe we'll see that in the real time tour. But yeah, trying to blend this road back in. Again, a little cost custom block piece. Uh the road is raising rising away from the zoo. So uh trying to make this look like it's got some structural kind of uh stability and some something that would hold it up. I haven't finished the road, there's loads more to do on the road. There's loads of there's basically loads more of everything to do everywhere. <laughs> so uh we have plenty to get on with. Uh, adding some fences in now, so as you can see, I've uh, called in the help of the, the little angry archer to get the scale. Okay, so this is the second building. There's a little simple building, but somewhere to hide the toilet blocks. You can see just see the little blue roof there sticking up, um, sunk down into the terrain so that I don't have to deal with the kind of four meter high wall thing that it does. Um, and this is also going to be a backstage route. Um, through for the staff so yeah this was a really simple little uh, I'm gonna kind of try and make sure I've got this contrast between um, sort of guest face in front of house things and the and the a bit more sort of utilitarian bits of the zoo where you know the little kind of go away green huts and are gonna exist this was quite a little fun thing okay because I was trying to think about how I could get a tree in uh, blend a tree into the deck so I thought well maybe I could just imply that there's like a hole in the deck and this tree is stuck through it um, so that tree is obviously older than this deck would be so the idea being that maybe they've built around it okay third little structure going on so this is ticket collection so in the last episode I talked about in the entrance building adding some turnstiles and things and I sort of re reconsidered that option the turnstiles the actual guest gates themselves or the the the, the entrance building the entrance turnstiles that we have in the game are just so big and really awkward to, to sort of incorporate so I've done this before um, I did this in I've done something similar to this in both Missoula Zoo and in uh, in Serenity where we've hidden away the entrances we've got the hidden guest spawners but we don't currently have any way for the actual guests to enter the zoo so this is what this is so this little building again you'll see this more in the in the real time tour but this little building is supposed to be a ticket collection block uh, so the idea being that you've prepaid prepaid for your tickets and that you arrive and collect your tickets from a machine um, and what that gives me, and the only real reason why I did this, well, other than kind of having something else in the plaza, but was to hide the guest gate. So I'm, what I'm doing here is basically creating this structure and then hiding the gate in this gate that we see kind of in this bit of the speed build won't be here later. So then the final bit of the speed build, the final bit of this week's activities is creating this transition point from... Uh, we had this previously had this little sort of conservatory on the back of the entrance building um, and what could I do with it so I played around with this idea of sort of slightly out of context um, of, of the zoo being in this region but I thought yeah this is this is a greenhouse it's sort of okay for it to be kind of tropicalized if that's a word um, so I played around with the, the billboards here and the, the I, I grabbed this uh, bit of footage of some uh, fish swimming around but what you get with that is you get a real flat texture and what I thought would actually look really cool is if I could somehow try and incorporate it into the actual water so what I have you see again you'll see this in more detail but I have a, a water tank slightly in front of the uh, the billboard there and there's a couple of things that that lets me do it lets me add some obviously some different color and some texture but it also you can slightly see the water ripple in front of uh, the, the, the billboard screen. And then behind that, you've got uh, you can have things like bubbles and stuff and you can't have bubbles just floating in air. So 
How you do that is make sure you've got the water there, a water tank, put the bubbles in front of it, um, and there you go. It makes it look a little bit more realistic. It does, you can sort of see what it looks like before there, um, and then as we get into the real-time tour, you'll see what it looks like once I've finished. So yeah, putting a few education boards in and things. I've used, a, again, I used a couple of custom signs and made a couple of little custom things up for this. Just supposed to be uh, in some implied text and stuff like that. Appreciate this one's a bit speedy. Apologies, it's a bit jerky around here as well. There was a lot of footage to get through. Uh, I will try and kind of get a bit better at that. I feel like it's a bit of a thing that I need to improve on, but... Um, yeah, we're well, coming up to the end of the speed build, guys. So I will leave you for the last kind of 30 seconds or something and join you again in the real time tour. All right, peeps, welcome back to the tour. So we are picking up where we left off last time. So we basically, last time we finished off with this, uh, we added the guest spawners so we've got guest spawner hidden in there and then a few of the cars and as i said in the speed build we had nowhere to put the tickets so we didn't know to actually have the entrance building so this was a big part of this uh this episode was to get that get that problem solved uh and i think i've done it in a way that's all right um so yeah we start to come around to the plaza you see, this is pretty, pretty much done now, I would say. I don't think there's anything else to add to the plaza. I would say this is pretty much done. I'm going to go that way in a minute, but we'll go straight ahead first. So a few little billboards and things. I need to kind of update these and do some more of these as we go. Uh, I think as we get more animals and things into the zoo, I'll probably populate this plaza a bit more with some of these. But there is my ticket building. Um, and as I said, this has a hidden guest gate in it uh, so I'll probably just drop a bit of footage over the top here where you can see how they interact with this but this is them being outside of the park to inside of the park although he's sort of done it as well which is kind of handy um, so yeah they come over and they kind of interact with that and that's them entering the zoo there is a bit of a kind of backstage to this uh, we have a little uh, little covered area for wheelchairs and things and i guess strollers would go in there but i didn't find any that i liked on the workshop so yeah a little backstage access to that there's nothing actually in there a uh, bit of sort of scruffy <laughs> bit of scruffy backdrop i think we had that little tree in the last episode i can't remember if we did uh, but we shall move on so um yeah we'll take a little look in that path in a second we'll probably finish up at that path but that's that's the exit turnstile uh, that you're coming up again uh, as you leave the zoo. So, Le Café au Sommet, which I think means cafe at the top or cafe at the, um, yeah, cafe at the top, basically. Oh, hello, blue lady. There we go. Fix that problem. Uh, yeah, so there's my little covered little covered area little tables and things there is a path there i haven't seen them using it it may not work but we shall i don't really care <laughs> uh yeah a little bits and pieces some decorations i'll show you around it as ever in the night uh, so you get to see this stuff because i have lit everything up um so there's a side axis around there we'll come back through that way but through here hopefully we don't end up on the roof so this is pretty i kept this pretty simple it's supposed to be like a little cafeteria i picked up some of uh drax's cakes off of the workshop which are really cool um did a bit of decoration in here this little bar thing and a few little bits and pieces it's supposed to not be a bit that you particularly linger in um there is an area if i just kind of come around the counter uh, so you create this little counter thing and bits and pieces, a little menu board and whatever. There is an area back there which is supposed to be the kitchen. I haven't done anything with that yet. If we go through that door, we'll end up on the roof and I don't want to end up on the roof. So we'll carry on this way. Um, not sure where this is going to go yet. I haven't decided 100%. So you can come out this way onto the deck. Um, and if you can kind of use your imagination <laughs> once we actually have a zoo sprawling out in front of you i think this will be the premium spot the premium location to view everything so 
on our left we have this little toilet block as we saw me building in the in the speed build little bit of backstage gubbins through that gate um, I can't remember. There's not much through there. Just a little bit of little bit of something, something. There's supposed to be a door that's like into that kitchen area. And let's come back out of here. So there's my little. If you didn't catch this in the speed build, it actually works quite well. It's a font piece. It's the zero or the O. I can't remember exactly which one of the Noto Noto fonts. So there is a there's a toilet hidden in there. As I said, there is also another door. Uh, which is just kind of sticks out there comes down that way so there will be probably another door in here I'm not sure yet anyway coming round put my little custom heaters in some benches overlooking as I said the rest of the zoo uh, the roof itself as I said many 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 pieces let's just uh, let's just have a little look 4052 in that section so we'll do it I'll do a little flyer at the end so you can see this better but as I said there's this little kind of raised bit here uh, in order just to kind of get some extra light in to catch some of that light that's coming in uh, from the from the from over that direction basically uh, and then we've got the two little skylights one here and one in the kitchen area um, and then coming round again, excuse me, sir. Come round this way. So this is brings us round to the sort of side access. And a, a bit of a challenge here is that I've got to kind of hide away these paths. So I want it to be when you're at peep level, the, 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 um, the, that bit of terrain probably is going to disappear. But I want it to be that at peep level, when you're kind of standing here, you're mostly seeing zoo. You're not seeing people kind of walking in and out of the of the paths, which is what you'll see. You know, you can't see the guests coming in and out of the gate. This is the entrance building and the gate, which we'll look at in a second. There's my little water feature. As I said, it's supposed to kind of mirror. There's two of these now, but they're supposed to kind of echo the big waterfalls over there. They're going to be kind of a bit of a running theme throughout the movement of water. Going up and down on that, up and down on that bench one more time, one more time. There we go. It was a bit of a challenge, I have to say. I'm pretty proud of um, how flat I managed to get this. If this lady's going to walk over perfectly in time, we will see. But yeah, look, no disappearing of the feet. Obviously, when they go in there, they dis the feet disappear. But actually, I did a better job of getting this flat um, to the terrain and the and the boards on it than I did on that up there. But yeah, it looks pretty good. Pretty happy with it. So let's come on round, as I said, we'll come back. We'll do a left turn into the entrance building. I have extended this slightly. I think this wasn't here in the last episode. There is a path now running back into the trees there, back over towards the load where the loading dock is. So let's come on through here. We saw all this in the last one. So if you remember in the last one, this was basically just a big empty hole. Um, I tidied up this edge and this whole this whole half of the building was done but everything from back there was all a bit raggedy so if we now look at these so I think these came out pretty well there's like one or two well, there's one in particular which I think is better than the rest of them I think it's this one um, you'll see what I mean so I managed to get so a couple of little tricks to this is to make it look like deliberately look like that there is a piece of that the fish are set back from the glass well obviously the water would be up at this level but that there is something going on here where there's like a little inset where the water would get stuck which is what i've got i managed to get up there see how that water sort of is floating at, at, yeah that's almost like the top of the water there uh, where it's interacting with this block that's coming down so how I did that was basically make sure that there is a water so there is a water tank inside there you know barrier glass barrier effectively in front of this uh, this screen that's in the background and that gives you as I said in the speed build you can't have the bubbles uh, just in air so it has to be that they're in water and you can't get that effect and it just it's not massively noticeable but it is a slightly 
it's a slightly better visual effect i think and then by having stuff like the the weeds and stuff in there kind of helps it's not perfect but came out pretty well um, and i've hidden all the kind of backstaginess of that away uh, with this again this like lattice -y kind of thing and it does i think it feels quite sort of tropical in here which i kind of like it's very as i said in the speed build again it's very kind of um out of context with the rest of the zoo because the rest of the zoo is obviously set in this kind of taiga region but uh i thought i'd just go for it and i did a couple of um made a couple of little custom fish uh fish education screens and things so let's head on down this way. So as you can imagine, there's no zoo here yet. Um, we have a little bit of, we've got Seal Beach kind of tucked in down the corner there. Um, and I haven't really decided what I'm doing next, really. Um, we have this kind of, I think we're going to keep this viewpoint, but I don't think that lump is going to be there. Um, and what I did do was add in a little, so I've kind of hidden the return route away. So if you imagine we're at peep level here, and there were guests exiting the zoo, they would be kind of just hidden behind this bit of shrubbery here. Uh, but there is a stuff axis that way, which we can take. So we'll just jump down here a sec. Um, and so that is going to path around to an eventual habitat. And obviously some way that way is going to end up pathing around to an actual, an actual habitat. I think it's going to be somewhat of a loop this zoo, but I haven't 100% decided yet. I'm, letting some of it be fairly organic obviously this is all messy and not done and then yeah so this will be the way that you exit the zoo uh, when i've created a couple more a few more of these billboards and things i'll i'll uh i'll stick those in there but i think that's all right as a start hidden some of this away so you can't see all that messiness that's in there from the guest point of view and then then yeah they'll exit through the turnstile um, and potentially take a right into the cafe. I'm not 100% sure if, I may have, I may, I'm not 100% sure yet, I may have a gift job, but I'm not decided 100% on that. So let's do, before we go flying around, let's just switch to night mode and we can just have a quick shifty over here because I think this is quite a queue in the night. Looks like a nice little, little, Nice little chilled spot that you would quite like to hang out in. To say the plaza's turned out really well now, I'm really happy with it. Um, this actually looks better in the in the night than it does in the day. Uh, and then we have fairly low level lighting uh, out here because obviously you're going to end up with a bunch of things going on down there, which is where you want the focus to be and not up on this deck. So let's come out of night mode. And um, we'll just do a quick fly around so you can see some of these things from the top as well. Or whatever I've missed. So yeah, there's my little block. As I said, I've I've blended some of this in back into the into the road. This is slowly moving along this road. Uh there is my as I say, let me just show you this a second. There is my guest gate kind of glitched into the into the back there. Uh and there's the details of the roof. Pretty happy with that. Obviously, it's got a long, long way to go. Um, that is episode four. There will be many, many more <laughs> uh, as we slowly move down the hill. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Do let me know what you think. Uh, any feedback? Let me know what you think the first animal should be as well. Can't guarantee that it'll be the one I do. But uh, yeah, suggestions are always welcome. Thank you very much for watching again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's free to you to do. And I shall catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy.